Okay, so we've sewn our binding on the front, we've joined our binding over here, and we're going to start at this first corner. Now what I'll do is stitch in the ditch on the front side, catching the binding on the back, and I'll go from corner to corner, corner to corner. I'll repeat the process four times. So I want to first start by folding this over and turning this project to the back because I need to attach my zip bind tool. Now, if you need to finger press this a little bit, give that a little bit of a press. That way this binding is going to be nice and right to that seam. And we'll take our zip bind tool. Now, if you're not comfortable with the zip bind tool, go ahead and watch those other videos. There's the three clues, there's the zip bind tool, adjusting the zip bind tool in the belly, all of those. And I've got this slanted side, this groove side, on the back of my project, and I'll pull back and pull forward. Now the binding is sitting tightly in that groove, the lock line isn't showing, and there's no gap up here at the top, so it meets those three clues. Now what we want to do is do our mitered corner. So I'm going to scoot this down a little bit. Now with our zip gun, I'm going to grab right over here, and I'll take my small minute miter. Now my small minute miter is going to come in from the corner. The same three rules that we used on the front side of our mitered corner uh, are going to apply. The straight edge of the minute miter goes to the outside of the project. So that's number one. When I place this on, number two, scoot it right to the edge. And number three, the tip of the triangle is past the binding. So that's not past the binding, but this is. Now what I want to do is fold this over so that this corner is going to catch in that triangle. Hold that nice and snug and pull. Now if you were hand binding, you'd pick this up, take a stitch right about where my fingernail is, remove the minute miter. What I want to do though is go ahead, leave that in there till I get to the sewing machine. 